Well, hello, it is December 17th, 2021, and this is Thoughts from the Word. Well, hello, and welcome back to Thoughts from the Word. As we round out this week and our discussions and look at temptation, we're going to look at a verse from Psalms that actually doesn't mention temptations at all, but I think can give us some insight in our own dealing with those temptations and trials that come before us. If you have your Bibles, turn to the book of Psalms, Psalm 139. Psalm 139, we're going to go to the end of the, uh, the chapter and read verse 23. Hear now the word of the Lord. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Amen. Well, as we look at this psalm, as, as we look at this verse in the Psalms, and we think of it in relation to trials and temptations, we are to be praying, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my, know my thoughts. As we've talked about, God will not tempt us to sin. He will not provide the temptations or, 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 or cause us to desire to or, or fall into sin. But we can pray that God will try our hearts. And it's a different kind of trial. This is not the trial to fall to sin, but a, a trial of sorts in which we are uh, testing of our faith. We are seeking God and, and, and having God show us the depths of our faith. I don't know if about you, uh, or, but how often have you prayed, Lord, really probe my heart and show me the depths of my faith. Show me how deep it is, how rich it is, and the great blessings and mercies I have. I, I, I truly believe that if we in our prayer times would, would spend some time really searching out God's face, but also searching our hearts to see where we are in relation to God, we would find that our faith would be far richer, far fuller, because we would see more clearly the grace and the mercy that God has bestowed to us. All too often, we, we come to the Lord in haste because we're, or we're dealing with a trial or a temptation and we want it to be over with. And so we come and we quickly pray, Lord, free us from this. In, instead, here the psalmist is encouraging us to, to seek God out and let him examine our hearts. Uh, verse 24 says, and see if there be any grievous way in me and lead me in the, ever, in the way everlasting. To ask God to really search us out, to try us for the glory of his faith, for the glory for his glory, as opposed to that 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 trial that would lead to temptation uh, or, or to sin, this would be a tempt a trial of our faith to look at the depths and the richness of it that we could grow from it and that we can learn from it. I hope I didn't confuse you there, but uh, let's see what uh, Dr. Rowan has to say on this this particular passage. We are obligated to watch and to keep our hearts above all other things. Let him that desires to avoid temptation labor to know his own heart. Let him be acquainted with his natural frame and temperament, his lusts and corruptions, his natural sinful and spiritual weaknesses. By finding out where his weaknesses lie, uh, lies, he may be careful to keep at a distance from all occasions of sin. Temptation often has an advantage in a man's natural temper and constitution. Some are more naturally gentle, cooperative, easy to be entreated, and pliable. Others by nature tend to be gruff, hard to please, gloomy, so that envy, malice, selfishness, criticism of others, anger, and grumbling lie at the door of their natures. They can scarcely step out but are in the snare of one of these. He that would watch that he does not enter into temptation needs to be acquainted with his own natural temperament, that he might that he might watch over the treacheries that continually lie in it. Labor, therefore, to know what kind of spirit you are of, what foothold Satan has in your heart, where corruptions are strong and where grace is weak, and what strongholds lust has in your natural constitution. How many have had all their comforts blasted as a result of their natural passions and harmful constitutions? How many are disturbed even by their own gentleness and easygoing temperament? 
Get acquainted with your heart. If it is deep, search it out. If it is dark, inquire into it. If your heart seeks to deceive you or throw you off by tra off track by mislabeling its sinful tendencies, do not believe it. Some seek to justify, conceal, or excuse the evils of their own hearts instead of seeking to destroy them. How few there are who will, will diligently study themselves or even put up with those who might seek to make them acquainted with them. Again, I pray that we all would pray and seek out God in our hearts and, and see the depths of our faith. You will be blessed by it ultimately. So, so try to do so this today. Well, let's close our time in prayer. Thank you for being with me today. Let's, let's pray. Father, I pray that you would indeed seek, uh, search out our hearts. Show us, O oh Lord, the depths uh, of our sinfulness, but also, O oh Lord, the fullness of the faith we have in you. Enrich our faith and increase our faith, O oh Lord. And Father, be at work within us. Lord, though we all are going to face temptations and trials today, may we rest in your strength. Find our hope in you, and Lord, overcome, not by our own strength, but by yours, for your glory. For we are your children. Use us, O Lord, for the glory of your kingdom, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for being with me today as, as we've looked at this passage. I look forward to seeing you again next week as we gather together to hear some thoughts from the Word.